CS2 in terms of its future is both exciting and a little bit scary. There's obviously a growing issue right now with cheaters and the question of what is being done to prevent it. This is today's video right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. In the past, CSGO also had a problem with cheaters, so let's just get that out of the way. I remember before the Trust Factor days that it was actually a big deal, but with Trust Factor, which was introduced in 2017, and all of the several updates that it got, I was able to play matchmaking without a single worry of a cheater ruining my games. My guess back then was because of high trust factor and some valve magic that I was able to filter them out. Now this obviously meant that certain people would have to take the blow and their experience was probably a nightmare, unless they were all cheaters, but I had it good. It's also worth noting this was back in the day when Premiere and CS ratings didn't exist. The only thing you had was your matchmaking rank, which in the start was exciting, but then people didn't take seriously anymore. And if you wanted to flex your skills you moved to face it and reached level 10. But I remember being able to play matchmaking with friends who didn't have face it for many years and we didn't have to worry about a single cheater. Just speaking for the base game, a few years ago we had the golden era of CSGO. Now, in CS2 I didn't have to worry about cheaters either, even with Premiere. Premiere basically introduced ELO and a leaderboard so you would think this would naturally attract cheaters. But so far it didn't do anything to me, so I was happy. And then, in January this year, it finally happened. At 21k, I met my first cheater. Well, obvious one at least. It took 143 games before it happened. Now since then, I started meeting them daily. Just imagine this, that from my point of view, they were non-existent for years. And suddenly, I'm infested with them daily. Now I know that this wasn't just the me thing either. For most of us, we had cheat-free games. And then, just this year, something's changed. Now again, CSGO hasn't had the cleanest era. Even Counter-Strike 1.6 suffered from a lot of cheaters. But I would argue that CS2 right now is in Counter-Strike's worst state. There's obviously nothing I can do to prove how bad it is because I don't have the data or the numbers to confirm any of it, but the community right now speaks for itself. I was able to separate the good and the bad feedback in the past, but this time the gates are truly open and everyone, including the good guys, are complaining about the state of the game. Jeff, for example, who knew nya nye, which I can proudly say, is or was the go-to guy for me in terms of funny matchmaking related content, but it's gotten to the point that even he can't play in Premiere because of how bad it is. And the reaction is getting worse. We've seen content creators now who have simply given up on CS2 entirely until cheaters become less of an issue. So even if you don't believe Counter-Strike is at its worst state right now, I can say with absolute certainty that the feedback has never been this bad ever. Now the question is of course, why? Why is it so bad? There are many reasons for this, but I think that CS2 being the fresh new Counter-Strike title is absolutely a contributing factor. Basically, there's hype around the game. It's new, and it's got new features, and this will naturally attract cheaters. And look, I'm not going to say the anti-cheat is useless or not working, but the second big reason for why things are so bad is the lack of an anti-cheat solution that actually makes a difference. This alone is obviously going to attract more and more cheaters, as word spreads out that CS2 is basically a free game with still so many legit players to terrorize. As long as there's no way to prevent cheaters, the amount of cheaters will just grow. They'll get comfy, and in the endless battle of cheats versus anti-cheats, if Valve doesn't pull punches, cheaters will just swarm the servers, which they seem to have done already. Eventually, the base game will only have cheaters, and the rest of us are forced to play on Face It, which are probably happy because they're getting so many new customers. Now, of course, this is not a question of, are Valve doing anything? But rather, what? What are their plans? We know for a fact, thanks to the Talking Counter podcast, featuring Sponge, Moses, and Yang, that they were able to chat with Valve during the after party of the Major. And even if they weren't able to get any clear answers, this is what they said in the podcast. No, but You're I got trolling. the distinct impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. The anti-cheat is their number one priority at the moment. Is... That's also the impression that I got. The whole episode is great. I'll link it in the video description. But at least it seems from that alone that Valve are possibly prioritizing the anti-cheat solution. Now, what should they specifically do then? This is an interesting point since everyone I've talked with seems to disagree on what's best. I've had many discussions about intrusive anti-cheat solutions, other possible solutions such as pay to play, subscriptions, an ID verification system, but they all have their ups and downs. 
All we know is Valve like to do things differently, and they very much respect privacy and non-intrusiveness, so the anti-cheat solutions have to be in those parameters. Now, as a reminder, we are in Season 1 of Premiere, which has been more or less an experiment, I believe, for Valve, in terms of what to expect for future seasons, and it's a good starting point for data gathering and all that stuff. But when Season 2 arrives, we will likely get an update bundled in to get that season off to a better start. With how things are today, it shouldn't be too long before Valve addresses everyone's complaints with some kind of update. And the update, let's be clear, is also not likely to be announced at all. Because why would they? Why would they announce an anti-cheat update to all the players, which includes cheaters? It sounds rather counterproductive giving them a heads up. But yes, I still think some kind of update will happen soon, and it's most likely going to happen with the introduction of something like a new season of Premiere. Because that makes most sense. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.